Hello, people, and welcome to the final game of Saturday. Have a nice day. Yeah. We have the Minnesota All-Stars and the Windy City All-Stars facing off our Midwest rivalry up and at it. These leagues are so old, they just have All-Stars. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, they've been here for like a thousand years, each of them. Maybe like 15 or 16. Well, or, and. So it's a sweet 16 for both leagues. The scoreboard uh, is back online, and that means we can have legally sanctioned roller derby, according to the rules of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. Mia Goham jamming for Windy City. Switch, please, for Minnesota. Mia Goham with a quick lead. So Mia is your lead jammer for Windy. Switch also out on a scoring pass as Anti the packs look to reform. Anti-fascism goes to the box. Mia calls it off before Switch can approach. Zero, zero jam to start off the game. Ice hurt jamming for Windy City. And we got shock therapy out there on the jam line for Minnesota. Quick offense off the line by Windy City. Phoebe Fifo Fum. It's a dynamic pack. That's all right. There's like a big pack, and they're doing a lot of blocking in defense. Shock therapy emerges from outside as bodies hit the track. Lead jammer for Minnesota. And you can hear the hometown fans enjoying that. Shock with a quick call off, scoring one point. First point scored for the game, Minnesota. I really love super low scoring, high defense derby. Like a 1-0 score is just thrilling after two jams. I'm totally into it. I'm into it too. Honestly, I don't want any leads. I don't want any points. I want this to be it. Yeah. What if this were the final score? Let's make it happen. I'm, I, I'm signing on to that for sure. Looks like we got Homo Erratic, uh, better known as Rat, out there for Minnesota. And Killinois, or just Ashley, for Windy. Bork, 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 classic at the top of the pack. Rats out for Lee Jammer, second lead in Minnesota, as Ashley Perrin makes it to the pack. And Rat calls off that jam, so a 2-0 jam. So over the course of three jams, three points scored. Okay, I want to see one point per jam on average for the whole night. I would, I would be satisfied with that low score. I'm ready for negative points. <laughs> I want to see a negative score at the end of this game. I, I don't know. I don't know. I've been taking the rules test in a couple years, but we'll see if that works out. Shake and bake jamming for Windy City. Breezes for Minnesota. That's fine. No, that's fine. No, absolutely. And we got Breezes out there for Minnesota. Uh, Breezes also skated in the previous bout for the B team. Pulling double duty today. Interesting fact about Shake and Bake. She, uh, uh, Shake and Bake coats, bread coats every single meal. So that's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's fantastic. And Shake and Bake is out for lead. A bread coated lead jammer for Shake and Bake. So breezes to the box, so a power jam plus Minnesota down a blocker. That makes for an easy pass through. Four points scored. Put Windy on the board by Shake and Bake. Our dreams of negative jams are over. Four more points for Shake and Bake. Short packs for both teams. Shake and Bake quick toast up on the outside line as the Minnesota blocker re-enters. It's a bit of a scramble on the track. Windy City playing some offense, keeping a blocker back, hitting the, the Minnesota jammer out. Bork, bork, bork. 
Messing it up at the top. Shake and bake is out. Oh, no, it has to get recycled back. So Breeze is through on her first, on to her first scoring pass. But another four points in the air for Windy. Makes that a 16 point jam, bringing them into the lead. I guess scoring four points at a time is more efficient than scoring one point or two points at a time. I suppose. What a dream killer. We have Mia Goham lining up again against Switch, please. So thus far, the team's on the same jammer rotation as these were the two that started this off. Uh, four jammers each. We'll see how long that pattern holds up. Switch with an outside inside move. Your lead jammer for Minnesota. Mia Hamm is making quick work though and out of the pack on her toe stops. Oh. That was an aggressive pack, a lot of offense being played. Switch makes it out with three points. That's right, Mia definitely went ham on that last apex jump, but uh, for her trouble, goes to the penalty box, caught her skates in another sk in a, one of the blocker's skates. There was a tumble. Mia seems to be all right, but did uh, get penalized for that. So this is going to be a power jam for shock therapy and Minnesota, who scored three points in the last jam to zero. So we see a pivot line start with a quick run up by Wendy. Minnesota playing some offense while their jammer gets hit out. Shock therapy comes back in. No, no pass, no penalty. Penalty is called, not sure on who it's on. A lot of pointing by the refs, and they finally figure it out. Way to go. Shock therapy gets pushed out by 504, that's Phoebe 504, I'm actually pronounced Pahobi. So we'll be referring to her now on by Pahobi 504. <laughs> okay, thank you for that helpful note. So Mia gets through on her, onto her first scoring pass. Shock therapy is lead, calls it, but not before Mia can pick up one point. Zero points for Minnesota. So the Windy fans definitely enjoyed that one, a 1-0 jam in favor of Windy, despite starting in a power jam for Minnesota. And it's a jam we enjoy because only one point was scored. Thank you, thank you skaters. That's right, that's right. We got Ashley Perrin out on the line against Homer Erratic. Perrin, a long time vet of the game. Rat is your lead jammer for Minnesota. But Perrin is making some hard work at the front. Quick tripod refor by Minnesota, but Perrin's still quick on her skates. And outside, not lead, but ready to score. Rat Force to the outside calls off that jam. They're discussing how many points are scored on that one. Zero points. The Duke is calling it zero. Yep. I like it. Let's start calling negatives. <laughs> Math is awesome. Maybe some imaginary points. How about that? We haven't introduced ourselves. Who are you? Uh, I'm Reverend Killjoy. Oh, cool. I announced for the Minnesota Roller Girls. Oh, that's really you? Uh, it really doesn't matter who I am. What? Stop that. Stop that right now. I saw your name written down somewhere, so I know what it is. You don't know my name. All right. For Windy City, we have Ice Hurt back on the jam line. I got switch, please. Track cuts being called on switch, please. Going straight to the box. Also being called the penalty on Ice Hurt. It's going to be a two-minute jam. How fun. Let's make it zero points. <laughs> I, really, I, really, I really like your commitment to that particular bit. It's not a bit. It's a deep desire. So both jammers with short trips to the box. Four are being called on Pahobi, one of our favorite Windy City blockers, as Switch Please is out and ready to score. But Ice Hurt is also out and ready to score. How much time do we have left? About a minute minute left in this jam for some serious points. Minnesota tripod at the front of the pack. 
Ice Hurt, just kind of hanging out in there, maybe doing a little pushing. Switch, please, with some toast. Outwork on the outside line, out for a quick four. Maybe not so quick. That's up to you. And Ice Hurt is out with her own four points. Nice job, everyone. Offense being played by the pivot. For Windy City, that's Kidney Lopper. Whoa. A switch, please. Kind of hanging out and dancing. Bork, Bork, Bork says, hey, I don't want to dance with you. I'm going to hit you. And that's what happened. Switch, switch did a great job dancing through on the inside there, just on the toe stops to stay in bounds. Very switch impressive. Switch loves to dance. Oh, Ice Hurt pushing that Minnesota tripod up front. Almost out of play. But the Woody City blockers get pushed up by Switch, please. Still in play. And the jam is over. Some arm dancing by Bork, Bork, Bork. I like it. And that's 11-11 for both jammers. Whoa, what great numbers. Good job, jammers. Good job, blockers. Whoa. You're doing great. Okay. You like it? Is it good? <laughs> so a timeout called. What do we know? You got some fun facts? I do. I requested some fun facts from Windy City. And boy, 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 did they provide. For example, did you know that Max Savage is a family name? Did you? No. Oh, okay. Whose family? Max family. Oh, the Savage family. Okay. Fred okay, Savage, maybe Fred Savage is involved. Who knows? Probably. It's pretty likely. Yeah. We also have that uh, Bork 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 is a master ventriloquist. So watch out. Might be, might get tricky. That sounds that sounds like it could be useful on the track, in yeah. theory. On the Minnesota side, fun fact, it is Itches Be Trippin's 19th birthday. Happy birthday, Itches. Woo! Whee! Happy 19th. <laughs> All right. Time out over. We have Ashley back on the line against sh 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 shock therapy. And jam is on. Ashley pairing out with lead jam. Shock therapy, about a half track behind her. Perrin jumps the apex, but gets blocked by an arm from Minnesota and falls, does not score any points. That's what you like. Zero, zero, baby. Bork is all alone on the track. She's feeling good though. No, now she has a jammer. It's gonna be Bork blocking and a jammer jamming for Wendy. Oh shoot, look at that. They've got three in the box. I didn't notice that, but now we notice it. That's exciting. But Bork is such an excellent veteran player. Handles things on her own. Track cut is called on Rat. All is done solo by Bork, Bork, Bork. Way to go. Lead is open. Lead is open. Lead is open. Lead is open. And lead is still open. Lead is open. Lead is open. Lead is open. But lead is not open because Rat is returning to the track. The referee has made a mistake and now it's been rectified. Everybody breathes a sigh of relief as Rat gets out. Well, about before this, between the two B teams of Minnesota and Windy City featured a, uh, a boatload of jammer penalties. And already we've seen a few of those here tonight. What does a boatload of jammer penalties even look like? Uh, it looks like that last bout that I know you watched a little bit of. Yes, I did. Mia Goham back in the pack, entering sideways as she does, takes a shirt whip off of Bork Bar Bork and does some fun stuff around Madame de Stompador to get out with four points. Looks like Homer Raddick is being sent to the penalty box. Perhaps to join the previous game's jammer penalty list. Get on that boat. Get on that boat, girl. Mia Goham approaching the pack. Bork, 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 checking it out. Going to play some O for a jammer. And does so. Mia tiptoes on the inside line for another four points. Fun fact about Mia, she's kosher. She keeps kosher. 
Minnesota attempted to reform the pack at the back. It wasn't quite in time to stop Mia on that last pass. This time, ooh, the apex jump. Very impressive. Jam is over. It's a 20 to two jam in favor of Windy City. Looks like an official timeout. Jam? Sorry, 20 to two jam that was? 20 to two. And Minnesota had lead. Oopsie daisies. Whoops. Shake and bake back on the jam line, finally. I like that. Switch please for Minnesota. Kind of taking Aaron out the midsection. It's kind of toasty in here. It's toasty out there. People uh, have even said when they come in, they go, whoa, what's that smell? It's roller derby. Uh. Some chit chat chit chat during this timeout. It's nice to see that both teams are friendly. Great, great sport, great spirit of roller derby. It's true. A little fun fact about Hannibal Wrecker. Hannibal comes from a long line of hippie vegans. Wow. A fun fact from the Minnesota side. Animal and Wax Poetic are celebrating their anniversary. Congratulations to Animal and Wax Poetic. Yay. And if you have anything that you want to be said, go ahead and message the MNRG Instagram account. And if it's appropriate, we'll say it over this microphone. Feel free. <laughs> the channel is open. I like that you're willing to use the royal we in that circumstance. <laughs> always purple, always royal. So this official timeout Brought to you by our officials for this bout. Who do we got out there? We have a, a few, I guess, officials keeping us safe, keeping us in line. We have Irma Gerd, aneurysm. Spike, ogre. Idiopathic. Duke Skellington. <laughs> uh, triple destruction. Seer. Marmar superstar. Allegory. Allegory. <laughs> Stop pointing. What are you doing? Elk. I don't know. Auto correct. Davis Stater. Nutter. Apron. Irma Gerd. You already said that one. She's on here twice. I know. <laughs> it's a trick. It's a trick. For I'm you. tired. Bruce. Yeah. Smash catch him. Uh, yeah. And anyway. Bruce Springsteen. Thank you for being here. And Jam is on. Swatch Plus is stuck in the back of the pack on a tripod of Windy with a little extra. The pivot is providing some extra help as Minnesota takes care of the windy jammer at the front, drawing her back. Slow reform. Is that a shape? Not quite. Oh, now it is. Good job, Minnesota. Switch is not out, but lead jam. Switch is now out and lead jam. Shake and bake. Doing some shaking, not much bacon at the top of the pack. As Switch Please does her thing and gets through for four points. Switch Please out for another four points. Shake and bake, trying to distract with a cap off. Passes it to the pivot. It's been a successful pivot star pass. Pivot is hanging out with some blockers. Looks like anti-fascism is trying to do some close dancing. Switch please out with another four points as Pivot gets recycled to the back of the pack. And who is our lovely Pivot from Windy City? No one other than Malicious? Malicious. Jam is over. Another point for a Swatch Plus. That's a 13-0 jam for Minnesota as the score is brought up. 32 Minnesota to 48 Windy City. Good job, everyone. This is great stuff. That was a huge jam for Minnesota and switch, please. Thanks to the defense. 
more than anything else. Yeah. Let's uh, try to keep these points down from now on, okay? Ashley Perrin for Windy City is shock therapy for Minnesota. Perrin fighting her way at the top. Out for a quick lead jam as Minnesota takes a tumble at the front of the pack. Shock therapy still at the back, hanging out with the Windy City four pod. Nope, now it's a tripod with Bork, Bork, Bork at the front, ready for some offense for Ashley. Ashley's just hanging out, doing a little dancey there, dancey there. Shock therapy stuck at the back of the pack on the Windy City tripod. Pairing out for four points, Windy City. Open inside, easy access for Ashley. Another four points. A fairly easy pass that time for Perrin. As Minnesota was so focused on offensive blocking at that moment. Anti-fascism accepted a star pass from Shock Therapy. Out and ready to score. Let's see if Perrin allows it. Wendy Bench says keep going. It's the pivot. Anti-fascism gets recycled to the back of the pack as Perrin approaches. They're side by side. As Bork hits out anti-fascism, draws her all the way back again. Perrin's hanging out at the front of the pack with Barbell Fett and Killer Bay. Barbell Fett gets a high block call as Shock Therapy joins Killer Bay at the front. Doing some blocking. It's not enough to hold Perrin back. Perrin's out with another four points. Anti-fascism still fighting at the back of the pack as Perrin approaches. Chu and Killer Bay get together for some defense. She recycles to the front as Ashley Perrin is out successfully for another four points. Winnie City blockers are really taking care of anti-fascism, showing no mercy, because why would you during a competitive sport? Anti-fascism with three points after the game, after the jam, and Perrin a total of 23 points that jam. Score stands 71 Windy, 35 Minnesota. Fun fact, 35 is most definitely his number. Bryzeus back on the jam line against Ice Hurt. Minnesota tripod in the back as Ice Hurt does some spin moves. Fun, fun, fun. Breeze is struggling at the front with a tripod of windy blockers. They have a dangling fourth for support. Not really sure what to call what they're doing up there. It's just a tripod with reassurance in the front, I guess. Choosing not to help their jammer. It should be tripping. Pivot for Minnesota gets sent to the box on her birthday. Boo hoo hoo. Ice Hurt is out on the inside line for Lee Jammer, Windy City, as Breezes takes off the cap. Two batter pivots in the box. Minnesota not really together. As Ice Hurt in, engages and gets through with a quick four points. Pivot standing. Maybe of assistance, who knows. Fry Zeus, though, at the front of the pack. Almost pushed out of the play. But a really sweet forearm, a number 24 from Winnie City. That's Regina Specter. Breezes is out, ready to score. Mind you, it's her second game in a row. Good for you, Bry Zeus. You're doing great. Hit it to the face, but you know how those are called. I start out with a quick four points. It's a bit of a, a blob in the pack. Minnesota tripod in the back, but Ice Hurt quickly disassembles it as they try to reshape, as you would say, if you were to say that. Manila Ice doing some one-on-one -on -one blocking. Let's Ice Hurt go. Ice on ice. That's just cold. It's true. These last two jams, uh, Windy City's had a real strong advantage. The blocker's really effective. The jammer's also very effective. Built up a big lead in these last couple of jams. For sure, that was 16 points for Windy and only four for Minnesota. The score now stands 87 to 39 in favor of Windy City. You can't hear me? No, oh, I'm sorry. Away I do. <laughs> I know I hear you. 
Hold on. Mia go ham jamming for Wendy, but it's Tom Erratic out for Lee Jam, Minnesota. Mia Goham not happy. She's waving that fart for the directional. That's not getting called. While Ho Moretta gets those four points for Minnesota. Minnesota Min making use of that three uh, blocker advantage in the pack there. No pass, no penalty for a rat as she gets four points from that pass. Mia Goham still hanging out in the pack. Oh, now she's out. Rat calls the jam. No more points in that jam, but that's 8-0 in favor of Minnesota, bringing this score up, 47 Minnesota. Wendy City sitting at a nice, comfortable 87. Mm. So comfortable, so nice, so 87. 87 is what, 29 times three, I suppose? I, it's the year I was born. I think so. I yeah. don't know. Fantastic. Was 47 the year you were born? Pretty close, yes. Right after the war, yeah? Very close, right. right after the war. That's me. Switch, please. Too hot, but I'm pretty sure that's a penalty when you can't see your number. Ashley Perrin jamming for Windy City. Bork, Bork, Bork gets hit out of bounds by a switch. Maybe you should go score some points, friend. <laughs> it was a great look on Bork's face. Like, <laughs> wait, that was backwards. Yeah. A Ashley Perrin gets called out on a high block. As Switch, please, still airing out the midriff. Making her way through the pack. Let's let's get a lead or not. And there is Switch. Out with a cut track penalty. Insubordination. Maybe she didn't leave the track in time. Now there's a lot of talking. I see uh, Bork, Bork, Bork raising those hands, doing some uh, dancing, some hand dancing up there. Ashley Perrin's back on the track. Minnesota gets a little discombobulated by this windy of offensive. But anti-fascism, damn to stop a door, and wax poetic, just kind of being all over the place, yet containing Ashley Perrin. And they're set in a tripod, way to go. Madame de Stompador bridges back as Manila Ice is fighting her way up. Ashley Perrin out, not lead. About 35 seconds left on this jam. That's a long time to get out. Manila Ice all on the back gets handled by the Windy City blockers as anti pashes and Madame de Stompador and Wax Poetic are handling Ashley Perrin at the front. Wax Poetic, a very seasoned blocker, knows what's up. Switch, please, re-enters the track. Not much time left in this jam, 14 seconds. Some quick step on the outside line, cuts in. Ashley Perrin re-enters, gets hit out, gets drawn back by anti fascism and pivot for Minnesota as the jam comes to a close. Three points for, for four points, apologies, for Windy City. Official review being called by Minnesota. In the previous uh, bout, Minnesota's B team was successful in two official reviews. Whoa, 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 whoa! Unheard of, unless you're Tracy Akers, who is excellent at winning official reviews. Yeah, there's not a lot of that out there, so it was it was very impressive. We'll see if the uh, if this A team here has the same kind of skill. I'm not going to call it luck. I would call it skill, talent, to win official reviews. It is a skill, a talent to just know the rules and be smart. That's right. And to see it and to make the right call at the right time. Exactly. You can't just know it. You have to observe it. You have to feel it, breathe it, live it, maybe even sleep it. Have you ever slept in official review? I, I have slept many in official review in my heart. Getting some looks from the audience members. I'm sorry. I'm really tired. <laughs> I think you should just ignore the audience. They're not, pretend they're not there. You're not here for them. I Wait. can't. Shoot. Am I in my underwear? Are they in their underwear? I don't know. I don't know. You can... You can just say you're here for the streaming audience at home. I, I'm sorry to you, too. 94-47, the listed score in favor of Windy City. That is a ratio of 2 to 1 scoring because 47 times 2 is 94. I hope that Minnesota only scores two points in this next jam, so it's a palindrome. If we, we can all uh, hydrate with a little water. Ooh, that could be fun. Now it's Ice Hurt who's airing out her midriff. It's toasty in here. 
guess the time is a palindrome. It's six uh, minutes and 26 seconds left on the period clock. And it is the first period. Whoa, it's only the first. We still have intermission, a That's second nice. half, a couple of a victory lap, a not so victory lap, maybe hugs, hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully not. No hugs, please. No hugs, don't no. touch me, right? Yeah, exactly. No, don't touch me policy. Yeah, that's right. That's High five only. My policy. Fist yep. bump, elbow, elbow tap. Shock therapy is standing patiently on the jam line, hands held behind her back. Her feet, if I were to know ballet, I'm just going to take a stab in the uh, position three. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. I, you can tell me whatever, and I will believe you because you're such a rep reputable source. You don't even know who I am. What? You don't even know who I am. Yeah. Right. Jam is on with ice hurt and shock therapy. Good job. Penalty box is empty to start this jam. The score didn't change <laughs> after that official review. And it appears that Minnesota lost the official review because the scoreboard tells us so. Tough packs for both jammers. Shock therapy struggling at the front with the windy tripod as ice hurt. Just kind of doing a close stance with the Minnesota blockers at the back. And while we wait for something more to happen, fun fact, the midriff was introduced to fashion in 1932 by Madeline Vionnet. Who knows? Thank you for writing into MNRG Instagram and telling us that fun fact. Wild. Incredibly wild. This is what I want to see. Let's get a 0-0 jam. Almost a minute in, no lead, no jammer penalties. Wait. Oh, but too bad. Windy City pivot that Kidney Lopper gets sent to the penalty box as Ice Hurt gets hit out the front and recycled back to the back. No pack is called as Shock Therapy also recycles the back of the pack. Only 45 seconds left on this jam. Hopefully no lead jam. Hopefully no points and our dreams can come true finally. <laughs> you gotta have dreams. If they make a full lap, I'll be disappointed. Still a standstill. Still, 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 still. Pivots out of the box, playing some Quaco for their eyes hurt. The pack moved a total of six feet while the pivot was in the box. That was fun. Quick drawback by Pivot Minnesota, Minnesota Pivot. That's a choo 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 choo. A choo. Both jammers still struggling. Two seconds left. Yes, 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 yes. No lead jammer. No points. Dreams can come true, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. oh, oh. oh. Dre, this is your moment. Bask in it. Let's make it happen again. Who knows, though? Bork is out there. All right. Homo erratic. Again, shake and bake on the jam line. Score still stands at 47 to 94. Windy. Shake and bake doing some fun stuff on the outside line. Quickly jam there. Only took her six seconds. Homer Erratic hanging out at the front of the pack. Doing a little dance with Windy Pivot. That's Regina Spector, but Regina Spector gets called out on a penalty as Rat goes around, ready to score, but not before Shake and Bake can call up the jam. Call the jam, c -c call it off. That's four points for Shake and Bake, 98 Windy, 47 Minnesota, 322 left on the period clock. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise, indeed. Surprise, surprise, it's Mia Goham back on the jam line from Windy City. And Switch is back, you can tell by the midriff. But hey, check it out, you can see your number now. That is a nice change. Not a penalty. Mia Goham doing that thing she does so well on her toe stops, slicing through. Minnesota tripod though, great lateral, and Switch is out with lead jam, woo! Bork, 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 playing some offense for a jammer, but keeps getting hit out by, it looks like, a whoopsie-daisy. Switch gets recycled to the back by number 622. It's Kidney Lopper. Mia Goham out of the pack, 
Let's see what Switch chooses to do, and it's calling it off. Surprise, surprise. So that two-point jam makes it 98-49. So yet again, Windy City has a 2-1 to one scoring ratio over Minnesota with two minutes and 15 seconds left on the period clock. That's cool. That's a cool ratio. Two, one, great numbers. They're ordered. Yeah. Announcer math is my favorite part of announcing, to be honest. Do you ever look at the microwave and when you see numbers, you just kind of like divide them or add them and see the next number? Yes. Really? Sometimes. All right. The jam is on. Ashley Perrin gets back blocked by Homer Raddick to the ground, but no call is made. And she's out with Lee Jam. Oh, no, it's not Lee Jam. It's a cut. Homer Raddick gets pushed out of bounds, drawn back. Was it, which one of the Minnesota blockers, was it Wax Poetic that uh, very effusively demonstrated that that was a track cut by waving and dancing in the back of the pack? I'm not sure. I was not focused on that, to be quite honest. Well, it was one of them, and the refs noticed, and it's a track cut. Yeah, nothing like waving in the middle of play. Homer Raddick just being uh, tossed around by Windy City blockers. That's 116, Max Savage. It's a family name. It is indeed a family name. We'll have to find out if Mac is related to Fred. Minnesota tripod at the back of the pack. Hanging out with Ashley Perrin. Ashley seeing how their day's been. Mine's been fine, maybe she says, maybe not. We don't know what's going on in there. We don't have those mics. We have, we're not mic'd up. They're not mic'd up. Stop block is called on a Minnesota blocker. That's whoopsie daisies once again going to the penalty box. Ashley Perrin is out, not lead, but eligible to score. Cool. Rat's still hanging out in the pack. Perrin's in, scoring all the points. Out at the front and out with four points. Homer Raddick does some toe stop stuff, but gets hit, hit out by the Windy City pivot. That's Animal Lee. Animal Lee. Few years on the team, maybe more. I'm not quite sure, but Emily does great work, and Ashley Perrin's out for four more points. Homer Reddick gets recycled back, but it's a penalty on number 350 for Wendy. That's Rachel Rage. Fun fact about Rachel Rage. Oh, we're going to intermission, but before that, little fun fact. I was told by one of her teammates that her makeup is always on point and killer. Ah. Now you know. I also would be filled with rage if my makeup was both on point and killer. A happy rage. Yeah. All right, so 49-108, Windy City in the lead. That was a 10-point jam for Windy. Great job to everyone involved. Go chat in your locker rooms. Do what you need to do. If you're in the audience, do what you need to do, and we'll see you back here in 1421. Bye-bye.
Yo, what up? There's 30 seconds left of intermission. We joked about that 15 minutes that cut that in half. Hopefully you saw that at home. It's really exciting times here. We just uh, received some information. Jacksonville is going up to Montreal next weekend to kick butt. It's, it's uh, Skids, Gotham, Helsinki, and Jax. Whoa, that sounds like a great weekend. That sounds like some high class, high level roller derby. All right, intermission's over. That's nice. Minnesota's ready to go. Blocker's lined up. No jammer. Oh, no, there's Switch Plus. Ashley Perrin back on the jam line, tongue out. Winnie's starting one short in the pack. That's fine. If you're in the venue, be sure to check out the, the nut area. We have some artisan roasted nuts, cinnamon almonds, and bourbon pecans. Yum, yum, in the tum-tum. And the jam is on. Switch, please, at the front of the pack as Ashley Perrin twirls around in the back. Forearm called on Barbell Fett, Minnesota blocker, to enter the box as Ashley Perrin slices through for lead jam. First lead of the second half. <laughs> Switch, please, still hanging out in the front of the pack, but does her thing and toe stops out of there. Ashley Perrin coming up at the back of the pack. Wendy playing some O. That's a quick four points for Perrin and Windy City. Score up, 112 to 49, woohoo. So Windy continuing the momentum they had in the first half with a four point jam to start this second half. Our, our officiating crew looks particularly refreshed to me. They must have had a really great halftime. They look hydrated and like they're concentrating. Like they, they look exactly hydrated? Can you see their skin cells? It's just, they're, they're Is glowing. It their pupil? They're right? glowing, all right. And there's shock therapy and shake and bake. Shake and bake hit out by, whoa, anti-fascism comes back in. Are they going to call lead? And they did. I don't know about that, man. All right. Here goes shock therapy busting through, but she takes a tumble. Shake and bake back to score. Manila Ice and anti-fascism in the back taking a tumble, getting pushed up. There's shake and bake at the front of the pack. Anti-fascism won a beat, and she's out for four points. Shock therapy still struggling at the back of the pack. Jammer hat still, still on that head. Two blockers, two Windy City blockers at the front of the pack. Shock Therapy says, come on, let me go. Out of play is called. Out of play penalty is also assessed. Way to go, refs. That's number 24, Windy Blocker, Regina Spector. Shock Therapy ready to score. Will Perrin let her? Nope. She misses that jump. Ashley Perrin out for four points. Mind you, Shock Therapy is in scoring position and does complete a four-point pass. Looks like Perrin is trying to get her blocker out of the box. Easy four points on the, oh sorry, shake and bake. Easy four points on the outside line. Shock Therapy also scoring fork, fork, fork at the front. But Shock Therapy gets called out on a back block. Shake of the head from the jammer, classic shake of a jammer. Shake and bake chilling on the inside line. Another quick four points. Brings shake and bake's total up to 16 points on this jam. 30 seconds left, plenty of time. Chooses to call it off. 16 to four jam, Windy City. I feel like if you score 16 points in a jam nowadays, that's more baking than shaking, so congratulations to her. Definitely, turning that first half into more of a bake. Way to bake, shake and bake. Keep baking. She probably has a convection oven, that's sweet. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, like best. gas convection oven. Absolutely. Oh, that's what I'm Gotta talking about. It. I used yeah, to have that. Oh, miss it, miss it. Mia go ham, starting on, all alone on the jam line. Classic Mia braids, classic ham moves. Slicing it up at the front of the pack. Offense being successful, out for lead jam. That was pretty fast, maybe like eight seconds. Way to go. Winnie City's really breaking up the Minnesota players, kind of pushing the pack forward. Tripod at the top, unable to even touch Mia. That's a quick four points for Mia go ham. Just textbook offensive blocking there from Wendy, as you pointed out. Exactly, exactly. Shock therapy's back in. Star's still on the helmet. Mia gets recycled back. That's Choo Choo, whoopsie daisy. Barbell Fett, and another friend. Winnie City playing some O at the top. As shock therapy gets through, 
She's now in scoring position as Mia Goham tips, tiptoes through. And hanging out, decides to keep going, getting the signal from her bench to keep on keeping on. Shock therapy is still chilling in the pack. Minnesota blockers seem to be not as ready for an approach by Mia as she tiptoes for another four points. 45 seconds left in the jam, plenty of time for things to happen as the Windy City blocker goes to the box. Mia Goham calls off the jam with a butt first approach of the pack. And that was a total of 12 to four Windy City. Got Homo Erratic back uh, for Minnesota and Perrin back to the line for Windy. Fun Lo fact, Perrin is a Bond star, apparently. Ha! I have a fun fact, Thimbleberry Slam blocker for Minnesota right there. I first met her when she was tending bar at a restaurant in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and I happen to right now be wearing the T-shirt that I bought that night when I met her. Did you do that on purpose? It's just a total coincidence that we happen to both do derby and are here now. But together. that you're wearing that T-shirt, is oh. that on purpose? I mean, I knew she was going to be here. Are so you matching your shoes? Mind. Are you just matching your shoes? Yes, I was just matching my shoes. All right, parents out for a lead jam are enough of our boring stuff. Homer Reddick still hanging out in the back of the pack with number 350 from Wendy. That's, of course, Rachel Rage makeup on point. Perrin's doing a, some quick footwork out of the pack. Another four points from Duke Skellington. Thank you, Mr. Duke Skellington. Homer Raddick doing some leisurely stuff on the outside line. Gets hung up on Windy City blockers. Not quite a tripod, but such good two-wall work with a single brace. It should be tripping. Pivot for Minnesota at the front. Looking for that star pass, but right in front of wall. Look at them stretch that hat. Classic rat. <laughs> was that that was like a planned star whip? Oh was no, it? she took it. <laughs> we she we were both deceived. We thought the star would go back, but no, she took it. Multiplayer block getting called on number eight from Wendy City. That of course is Rita Hateworthy of the country. Which country? It's Finland. Oh, good times. It's be tripping. Our birthday girl is approaching the pack. And she scores her first Windy City point on her birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, that's two because there's someone in the box. Check that out. Bork, Bork, Bork. One of the most veteran players in the game. Hanging out in the tripod of Windy saying, nah, -uh, not so fast. But it just be tripping out. And that is four points for the birthday girl. Ashley Perrin out with another four points. What a jam. What a night. What a game. What a life. It's 12 to 4, Windy, on that jam. Ice hurt jamming for Windy City with switch plus for Minnesota. Little movement at the start of the pack from the blockers. Ice Hurt makes her way directly to the front of the pack. A switch plus does some fancy footwork at the front. Gets tripped up with Ice Hurt. Ice Hurt out for a lead. As Swatch Plus doing her own thing at the front is out, not lead, but ready to score. Here comes Ice Hurt. Oh, getting squished is the Minnesota tripod. Quick four points for Ice Hurt. A call off. No points for Minnesota. The score stands. 156 Wendy, 61 Minnesota. Cool. Well, just prior to this bout, I was speaking with a longtime Windy City fan who was expressing a bit of concern because Wendy is missing a couple of skaters tonight that might normally skate with this all star team. That's wild. As it uh, so happens, Minnesota is as well. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you, all right. Bry Zeus up jamming for Minnesota. Fun fact, it is her 21st birthday today. We have multiple birthdays on the All-Stars. A lot of Geminis in the house, you know, you know. But who is that? It looks like it's, wait, who is that? It's Shake and Bake. Shake and Bake's out for Lee Jammer, Windy City, up in the tripod in the back of the pack. Minnesota's tripod saying, hey, where do you think you're going? You trying to cook? You convection? You just convection oven? No, not right now. Not right now. I have you. Wait, wait, where are you going? Why are you trying to breach this link? I'm going to drop this link. Oh, no, now you're here. Now we're here. Now you're there. Are we going to go there? Yeah, we just did. 
Oh my God, are you scoring? You scored. Okay, that was a good pass. Good quick four points. Whew. That was very impressive, Dre. Thank you. Bryzu is still struggling at the front of the pack. Hat still on her head. Whitney City Blocker is not giving her any room to breathe. That's the way you play, right? Wax Poetic comes up with some offense. Bryzeus gets hit out. Whitney City, couple Whitney City Blockers taking her all the way to the back. Bryzeus takes that hat off. Shake and bake at the front of the pack against four Minnesota Blockers. Anti-fascism comes back to uh, bridge the pack. Some no pass, no penalty action at the front. Bry Zeus gets hit down, but hey, guess what? She's not the jammer because anti-fascism took the jammer hat. Congratulations, Auntie. That was tricky because it really seemed like Breezus was still the jammer, but nope. It's true. It's really tricky with Bry Zeus. Uh, sometimes I see her out and about in the neighborhood, and I'm thinking, oh, she's jamming, but she's not because we're not even playing roller derby. That's How right. silly is that? It does happen, though. We have Mia Go Ham jamming for Windy City against Shock Therapy. A dynamic start for Minnesota, deciding not to start in the back, but the front. Hanging on to Mia Go Ham, but not quite together at this point. Windy City knocking out Shock Therapy. Bork, Bork, Bork doing what she does best, blocking. Mia Goham does get lead jam. Shock Therapy takes her little hat off while getting hit out of bounds. Looks like Minnesota is gathering them themselves. And nope, that's a quick four points for Mia Goham on the inside line. No resistance there from Minnesota. Minnesota setting up at the front while their jammer struggles in the back. Shock funneling the jammer to the inside as she gets Mia gets hit out by the the Minnesota blockers. No pack is called. Nothing gets done. Pack is declared. And it looks like there's been a star pass to Chu at the front there. Chu is out, not lead. And the jam is called. So three points on that last pass for Windy. Minnesota sitting at that total, tidy total of 61 points. 171 currently on the scoreboard for the Windy City Rollers All-Stars. And once again, if you're in-house, remember to stop by this nut booth to try these nuts. They're cinnamon almonds and bourbon pecans. A bag of nuts, eight bucks. Two bags of nuts, 15 bucks. Get those nuts. Get those nuts indeed. A switch, please, on the line along with Perrin yet again. It's going to be Ashley Perrin one more time. Lead jammer for Windy. Switch takes a big hit up front, but manages to clear the pack and engage in a scoring pass. Windy City really good at that. Oh, from the front. Perrin is out with an easy four points. No time for a Switch to get any points. But Switch does have a, a nice, lively chat with the Windy City blocker. Looks like that was Animal Lee. Shake and Bake and Rat back to the jam line for their respective teams. Looks like Minnesota's got two blockers in the box, so a 4-2 pack advantage for Windy to start this one out. That's always a fun time. Whoa, a little stumble, false start, but Shake and Bake knows the rules and knows to just chill out for a second. At the front of the pack, there's Shake and Bake. It's a two-on-one with Madame de Sampador and Whoopsie Daisies, but Shake and Bake is out with lead jammer. And there is our friend Homo Raddick getting sent to the back of the pack by the Windy blockers. Hat is off, hat's off to you. Shake and Bake re-enters the pack at the front, fighting against that tripod of Minnesota. No pack is called. Penalties are assessed at the front to Minnesota. Shake and Bake now one-on-one -on -one gets out. That's four points for Windy City and Shake and Bake. Bork, bork, bork. Doing that bork. Just borking. Borking hard. Rat not really getting much room to do anything. Three on one there, and a three on one at the front with Shake and Bake on that tripod for Minnesota. Rat does get around. Let's see if Shake and Bake gives her time to re answer. And it's going to be a no as she calls off the jam. Good job, Shake and Bake. That's three more points on the jam. Say it. No, you say it. 
Dre just pointed out to me that one more point would make uh, for Windy City would make this a three to one scoring ratio, but uh, we're not quite there. One eighty two to sixty one. Yeah. Anyway, anti fascism surprise to everyone here. Anti fascism a regular pivot this year. It's on the jam line starting off against Ice Hurt. Whoopsie Daisy re enters the pack from the box, but anti fascism gets sent off on a penalty. That sucks. Yep, and track cut for anti-fascism uh, makes this a power jam for Ice Hurt and Windy. Let's see what Windy does with this opportunity. Full set of blockers for both teams out there. Always exciting. A two-on-one situation at the front of the pack. That's HSB tripping our birthday girl. And whoopsie daisies against Ice Hurt. Ice Hurt is out with four points as a Windy blocker gets sent to the box. Anti-fascism back on the track, hat in hand. Doing some fun stuff, gets hit out, can't make a pass. Ice Hurt is out with four points. And that's Animal Lee once again getting sent to the box. Whoa. Anti-fascism playing some blocking. On Pahobi, it should be tripping. Currently, the jammer of record, as they say. The front of the pack. No pack is called. Pack is established. It just has one more blocker to beat. Just one more blocker to beat, and she's out of the pack. Way to go, it should be tripping. What a way to celebrate your Gemini Day. Meanwhile, Ice Hurt headed to the box. This is now a power jam for Minnesota and it should be tripping, who is a regular jammer in the home season. Took a big hit there from Phoebe Fifo Pump. And she's smiling as she comes back in. She knows that was a good hit. She's enjoying her day. She's enjoying this game. There's nothing like a game of competitive roller derby. Oh. Now we've got your three to one ratio, Dre. 192 to 64. It's not just mine, it's maths. It's math. It belongs to math itself. Thank you, math. <laughs> Thank you, basic arithmetic. Thank you, pebbles and stones. And here's Switch, Swatch Blues all along the jam line. Whoa, power set. And Swatch is kind of all alone. Not much offense. Minnesota choosing to hold one in the back of the pack. Minnesota taking a hard hit and falling down. Bork showing no mercy. Zero mercy is the, the mathematical count of mercy. Which I support. But Switch, please, is out with lead jammer on her toe stops. She has a minute and 37 to do some point damage. Let's see it happen. But Ice Hurt is out on initial pass and ready to score as well. Switch with a fantastic pass there to get those four points. Using those long legs, but so quick with the footwork to get through and get those points. We are past the halfway point of the second half, and bench coach Hertrude Stein is signaling to Switch to keep this jam running. Switch is obliging. Good job. Ice Hurt is out with four more points as Switch is stuck at the back of the pack. Switch still stuck at the front against this tripod of Windy. Trying here, trying there, not, not quite making any way. One blocker falls, stretching them out, forcing them to bridge. Ice Hurt is coming through. Bit of a clean, almost a clean path out. That's three points for Ice Hurt, another four for Swatch Plus. That's a eight to seven jam. Wendy City 199, Minnesota 72, 11 minutes and 46 seconds left on the period clock. Let's see what else happens. That was a tremendous bit of effort for a one point net gain here for Minnesota. That's what it's about at this point. Take those risks, roll the dice, make the gamble and do it. Ashley Perrin on the line gets shock therapy. Shock gets hit to the inside line, as does Perrin. Anti-fascism draws her back a bit, reforms with Manila Ice and T-Slam. Windy City blocker, Max Savage, hashtag family name, sent to the box. 
As anti-fascism also he gets a penalty, a directional, and gets sent to the box. We're about 35 seconds into this jam. No lead is called yet. Looks like a high block penalty on Perrin as Shock still struggles again, gets out for a lead jam. Wow. All right, that was a struggle for everyone. So 46 seconds into that jam, lead jam is called. That's a brutal hit from on point makeup Rachel Rage. Shock therapy gets out at four points. Still has 50 seconds to score some more. Looks like Winnie Jammer is uh, standing in the box. I don't know. Wahoo. That's a forum penalty. Once again, Rachel Rage heading to the box. I'm getting worried. I don't know what the penalty count is, but if see some blockers, repeat trips, and you know what that adds up to? I think you do. I won't say it because I think you know. You got to trust your audience. That's right. Yeah, because there's no one who doesn't know Derby watching this. Come on, let's be real. Clearly. All right, looks like Ice got sent to the box on a penalty for Minnesota. Perrin doesn't get any points on that, but that's another four points for Minnesota. 8-0 jam, 80 points Minnesota, 199 Windy City. This 2-1 to ratio is really holding up through the game. Looks like Homo Erratic is opting for the uh, classic Annie Swanson style for a jammer hat. We have Mia Goham also lined up for Windy City there. Mia tried, to work to the Mia tried to work to the outside, uh, immediately stuck behind the line, and that allows Rat to get to the front of the pack and break through lead jammer for Minnesota. Mia's all about hats off, but her pivot's not there, and she doesn't need her pivot because she's out, not lead, but ready to score. Oh. It looks like that Annie Swanson magic came through in that half position because there are some points there. There are some points there. Good job to everyone involved. 3-0 in favor of Rat and Minnesota. Jam's been on for seven seconds, and we have people playing roller derby. It looks like a pack advantage for Winnie City, though, because there are two Minnesota blockers in the penalty box. Swatch Plus gets hit out of bounds. There's a Windy City uh, tripod in the back. As Shake and Bake is out for a lead jam. Windy City's really holding down Swatch Plus at the front with this tripod. And Shake and Bake does a nice last minute cut to the inside and gets out for an easy four. I think you could call that move a shake and bake because a deke to the outside cut through the inside straight line. Just an excellent move there by shake and bake. Living up to her name yet again. Agreed. And Swatch just spins on her toe stop at the front and gets out, not lead. But that's all right. Shake and bake out with another four points, getting the signal to call it from her bench and doing just that. Way to listen to your coach. You're good. Switch hits the track, gets a hand up there. From, from Anna Lee. Right. They've been chatting throughout this whole game. Looks like they're friends or just friendly. Yeah, could be both. Who knows? Friendly friends. Who could have thought? Shock therapy and Ashley Perrin back to the line for their respective teams. Penalty box is empty to start this one off. 207 to 83 is the listed score with uh, six and three quarters minutes left. Shock therapy out with lead jam as Perrin gets knocked down to her knees. Uh, directional block being called on Ch -ch 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 train as Perrin is out of the pack and Shock is in scoring. Shock calls it off after scoring. Looks like uh, a three points. A good job, Shockaroo, or as I like to say, a Shakshuka. Have you ever had Shakshuka, Rev? I is that a is that a noun? Is that a word? Shakshuka. Is it a, it's, not a, it's not an illness, is it? No, I tried it in Israel. 
Is it a food? It's stuff? a food. It's oh. a food. It's like eggy and tomatoey. I do not care for it. But okay. <laughs> shuka in Russian ah. is uh, it's a pike, a northern pike. Anyway, oh, jam is on. <laughs> Homer erratic jam from Minnesota. <laughs> Mia go ham <laughs> for Windy City. Ooh, there is a penalty for Mia Goham. I don't even see it. Oh, man. Dre saw and she told me to say it because she likes to talk a lot, but sometimes she feels guilty about it, and then she tells me to talk instead. It's true. It's so <laughs> true. <laughs> There's a tumble of the pack, and Rat's hanging out of the front, doing about a half of an Annie Swanson with her hat. She's out for Lee Jam. I really think this Annie Swanson, like, unicorn jam hat thing is really paying off. Going to have to message Annie about this one. Rat just kind of skated around, met two at the front, let it happen a bit. Bork takes her back, and then she runs out. That's another, oh, that's her first four points for Rat, as Mia Goham is back in the pack, easily getting out on the inside line. Nice offense from our pivot. Rat gets knocked out, has a signal from Trudy to keep going. Trudy getting to use that, that elbow action, really rotating it. Keep going, keep going. Rat gets kind of hit out on the outside line, the straightaway here. Wendy, not really a tripod, now it's a tripod. Doing some stuff, just kind of sitting, so maybe not doing anything. Or are they, is this active rest? Facing Bork, Bork, Bork as the anchor of a tripod must be a little bit intimidating if you're a jammer, if you notice that's what you're doing. Yeah, facing off against Bork and uh, Animal Lee, that's not something you want to do, but Bork is sent to the penalty box, and uh, a rat kind of spins around and does her thing, but Mia Goham is chasing her down. That's an 8-4 jam, and Trudy says, hey, keep going. This is it. Minnesota blockers in the back of the pack, ready for the entering, but no, Mia Goham skates by in one skate, picks up all four points, none for Homer Erratic, even though... That's an 8-8 eight, eight jam all around. And a timeout is called by a Minnesota. I, I saw Wendy uh, signaling for an official review. Oh, was that it? Yeah, so it looks like this is going to be an official review for Wendy, so we'll see how that My goes. My bad, friends. No, that's all right. A little fun fact about Hertrude Stein. I don't know if you read this on the interwebs, but... You know, she, uh, she's now bench coaching, and because she, she was a jammer, you know, and now she's bench coaching. But this yeah. was only after about an eight-year break of blocking. Right. You know? Right. right. Good times. Good times. Trudy, she has so many talents, so many skills. She uses them all. Also, if you were unaware, uh, Brickyard has been on sabbatical for a couple of years. <laughs> we're just waiting for her to come back. <laughs> it happens. This it looks like Marmar Superstar, our resident, one of our resident NSOs here, showing us the O, which I don't know when that became an official thing to show, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't recently, or it wasn't a while ago. Or was it recent? Was it, it was a, while a, it ago? It was a medium distance of time ago. I feel like it's just something people do now, but it's not actually part of the rules. Is it part of the rules? I don't know them anymore. I think it's part of the rules. To show that, to like put your fingers together in that yeah. shape above your head, just make your shoulders so tired, and for what reason? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure so the that scoreboard... So we know that it's an official review. But I'm pretty sure the scoreboard is letting us know. Why does this ref, this NSO... This is just what they do. ...need to stress out her shoulders? This is, that's, that's, that's the, the job that she's signed up for. She knew the risks when she came into this one. I'm going to ask her. Hey, Mar. Hey, Mar. Hey, Mar. Hey, Mar. Do you enjoy that? Do your shoulders get tired? Do your shoulders get tired? She says no. She's strong. I am weak. My shoulders get tired.
Looks like there's a, a jammer swap out during this official or this uh, review. It was Ice Hurt. Now we have P -P Perrin, our resident Bond star today. Looks like Homer Erratic is starting in the box. It's a power jam for Windy City. Three minutes and 48 seconds left on the period clock. 215 Windy City, 94 Minnesota. Hey, how often do you like to hear this? It's anybody's game. Oh, do I like to hear that? Yeah, do you like when I people mean, say that? It's kind of a cliche. Like, generally, we don't say that a lot anymore. I like when, when teams say, oh, we're a second half team. Yeah. That's my favorite. That's a fun one. Yeah. That's a fun one. It's like, what about your first half, bro? Yeah. All right, jam on. And Paris just kind of doing her thing, not really struggling much. She's out with lead, and a penalty is being assessed to Minnesota. A quick hop, and Perrin has four points on the board. Bork is back in. Minnesota. Bork is back? Bork, the Bork is back. The Bork is back in town. <laughs> Sorry about that singing. All right. Minnesota's still at a pack disadvantage with two blockers in the box. Perrin out for another four points. For just a split second there, we had the two Minnesota blockers in the front and all of the Windy City skaters behind them. We could have had an old school minivan situation, except that the pack was not moving. Star pass to Madame de Stompador. She's successfully out of the pack. That was a great pass. Perrin calls it off before any points could be scored, but what speed getting her on the track. You don't see Madame de Stompador getting a star pass that often, but boy, can she take one. She's practiced it, and she knows what to do. Fun fact, Madame de Stompador is the person who scheduled the announcers for this tournament, so if you don't like us, talk to her. Yeah, talk to her. Talk to her. Don't talk to us unless you want to. Talk to her. All right, that was 12 points for Wendy. Way to go, Wendy. Wendy's up to 227, Minnesota 94. That was 12 points in that last jam. And we have 233 left on the clock. I'm straining to see the scoreboard. So I'm going to assume that it's an official uh, timeout for the officials. How official? I, oh, no, my bad. Minnesota's dot is blinking. It's so hard to see from across the track. That was a Minnesota timeout. Look at that. A lot of smiles over there. Everyone's smiling. Both teams are smiling on the track and at their benches, chatting away, having a good time. What a night. Mia Goham back on the jam line with Shock Therapy or Shock Shuka. Full packs here and jam is on. Quickly jam for Mia Goham on the outside line. Completely clear for her. As Shock has to take care of herself at the front of the pack. And does so, stringing the blockers out. Mia Goham scoring in the back now. Does a little tiptoe on the inside. Choo Choo hits her in. Calls it off for three points. Score now stands at 230 Windy, 94 uh, Minnesota. Under two minutes left on the period clock, so we could be approaching final jam time except a timeout now being called by Minnesota because they don't like to leave a possible second where they could have been playing roller derby instead of, uh, you know. Swatch Plus's jammer hat is kind of riding up in the back and it stresses me out. Just having a chat with Wax Poetic back there. Just casual chat. They're talking about uh, mortgage rates going down. Wendy having a full conversation. All five. 
Is this a five on five stitch? Are we looking at full pack? Full packs on the track? Yes, full packs on the track. Shake and bake on the outside, starting. Steps out, can't quite get through. Switch, please, is out for Lee Jam as the Windy City blocker heads to the box. Windy City playing some aggressive offense, but setting up in the back tripod for defense. Shake and bake at the front against Choo Choo all alone. Gets past her. Kidney Lopper takes switch to the back of the pack as Shake and Bake approaches. Looks like we might be going the full two here. Minnesota has control of the jam. Switch please out, four points. So the jam clock currently longer than the period clock, meaning this could be the final jam of this bout. That's up to Switch and the referees. Both jammers out now. Four for each in the sky. Minnesota setting up in front, Wendy in the back as Shake and Bake approaches. Switch please enters and from her own force falls down. Fork takes her back as Shake and Bake does her shaking at the front of the pack. Minnesota really rallying together now in this last jam. At one moment there, both, both teams' coaches were doing, giving the signal to keep going in this jam. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I like it when people agree. Out of play being called in the back, but Minnesota quick to reform up. Shake and Bake kind of hanging out as Switch gets recycled back. Looks like some quick offense being played by Wendy City blockers. Switch, please, is calling it as Coach Hertrude Stein calls his timeout with five seconds left on that clock. Wowzers! Minnesota Roller Girls, as usual, going to get their money's worth on Derby tonight. Stop the cock, clock, keep playing, because they want to skate more. Yeah, if you're going to practice this much and work out and watch footage and hang out with your teammates, so much of your time goes to this, you might as well milk it, right? Clearly. Crystal. Shock Therapy and Ashley Perrin are the jammers at the line at the moment. We're Who not knows what will happen? Though. Someone might get swapped out. Who knows? I hope that one of the teams starts with too many blockers on the track. I like that. Because then you can just play with too many blockers until one of them gets sent back to the track or to the bench. It's just fun, you know? <laughs> is, that, is that what happens? Yeah, no one gets in trouble. No one's in trouble. I mean, at least not the first time. <laughs> Take advantage, people. All right, Minnesota's standing and holding each other. That has to smell. Jam is on. Ashley Perrin, quick on her skates. Out for Lee Jam at the front of the pack. The period clock has expired. Shock Therapy is struggling at the front. Gets tripped up by the Wendy blocker. That looks like just anyone. It could be anyone. Oh. Bodies hitting the floor everywhere there on Shock. turn two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shock Therapy had ready to score. Ashley Perrin gets sent to the box. What an exciting last jam. A back block penalty being called on Shock Therapy. How do you get that much hard contact on the final jam, the final two-minute jam of this bout? Goodness oh, gracious. It is easy. I got an eighth penalty in a last jam once. Don't ask about that eighth penalty. It happened. It's real. And there's Killer Noise out for four points, really wrapping this game up. Strong performance throughout the night. Minnesota setting up at the front as Shock Therapy is re-entering. 43 seconds left on this jam. Anything could happen. <laughs> Still over 30 seconds left in this game. Oh, that was a that was a rough hit. Ouchie. That was a rough hit. Yeah. As we see uh, Pahobi, the Windy City pivot, being sent to the box. 
Shakshuka gets recycled all the way to the back. Gets a nice back block, but a helpful back block over the apex, and she's out for four points, as is Perrin. And that's it. That's a wrap. That is a wrap. All right, folks, so your unofficial final score, Windy City All-Stars 246 to Minnesota All-Stars 110. The number might change by a point or two, but the result is the same. Your victors here tonight in the Charter A game of this Have a Nice Day B-Team tournament, the Windy City All-Stars. Great job by both teams. Saw some great strategy, great physicality, athleticism, just derby. I'm proud of both of these uh, groups. Proud of the audience. Proud of the refs. All right. I, the refs, I heard them whispering that they're a second half team, and they did great in the second half. I thought they did That's great right. in the first half, too, but Absolutely. whatever, you know. And that's a wrap. It's official. All right. Well, thank you, Dre. We will uh, see you at a later time. Thank you, Rev. Uh, and by the way, audience members, tomorrow we have our juniors game. So please come as the Sioux Falls B team plays our Minnesota Frostbite at 2 p.m. It's going to be an excellent game, an excellent time. Come see the future of roller derby and have a good night. I am going to bed. Yep. Bye. <laughs>